Kids, I'm going to tell you an incredible story. The story of how I met video games. In 1958, physicist William Higginbotham developed a video game called Tennis for Two. He made a basic controller and a button to play the game. It was the first video game in history. Then comes the Space War, the first computer-based game. It's also notable for being the first to be installed on multiple computers. In 1972, Ralph Baer and his associates made the first video game console, and it was sold under the name Magnavox Odyssey. The electronic game of the future, and the family's best foul-weather friend. Odyssey was a TV-connected game console that featured a few straightforward games. In three years, the console has sold over 700,000 units. The success of Odyssey led to the emergence of rival companies. Nolan Bushnell and Ted Dabney founded Atari in the same year and launched the game Pong, which can be played on coin-operated arcade machines. It was such a huge success that they confidently released the Atari VCS, Atari 2600 video game console in 1977. Only our demonstrators left. Mine! No, George. Mine. The new video computer system by Atari. More games, more fun. Then in 1978 and 1980, Space Invaders and Pac-Man games entered our lives. The gaming market significantly expanded by the 1980s companies began to create more games to fulfill the demand. This rapid production and consumption process has increased repetition in games and reduced sales. The console industry began to expand again with Nintendo's entry into the market in 1985 with NES. They produced the well-known video games Super Mario Brothers in 1985 and Legend of Zelda in 1986. In the late 1980s, IBM and Apple Macintosh computers entered the gaming world. In 1991, the strategy game Civilization was released to play on PCs. Advances in computer technology have led to three-dimensional games, and with the internet rising, people started to play games online. In the 1990s, Sega and Sony also entered the video game console market. Sony became very popular when it launched PlayStation in 1994. Sega and Nintendo found it extremely challenging to compete with Sony. The launch of Microsoft Xbox 360, Sony PlayStation 3, and Nintendo Wii consoles in 2005 and 2006 started a new era in the gaming industry. The Wii's gesture remote control has made gaming much more fun and active. By the 2010s, video games started reaching a more general audience by spreading to social media platforms like Facebook and mobile devices like the iPhone. In 2016, Sony released the PlayStation 4 Pro, the first console supporting 4K video. Early in 2017, Nintendo Switch became available. On the other side, Microsoft released its 4K-capable console, the Xbox One X, in late 2017. At the end of 2020, Sony and Microsoft launched PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. They both had virtual reality features in video games to improve the gaming experience. So, now you know the whole exciting story with its ups and downs. Of course, it's not any more exciting from the story of how I met smartphones. Didn't I ever tell you that story? Oh, that all started when... Curious about the next story? Then turn on notifications so as not to miss the story of how I met smartphones next week. <laughs>